Traffic is moving slow on I 95 right now, more than four hours after a serious crash. You're looking live near JTB where crews just removed a crash RV within 20 minutes. But you can see toward the middle of your screen a flashing beacon there, just warning drivers. This is right where that crash happened. Sky Action News Jax was over the scene today. You can see that massive response. Again, that crash involved an RV and a smaller car. It was one of two crashes that happened around the same time. Look at that. Yes, that is a car. Are underneath another one. This caused some major gridlock. 295 in Bay Meadows, where that happened. I'm Tanika Hughes. And I'm Ben Becker. At one point, backups were one and a half hours on 295 and more than an hour on 95. New at 5, Action News X Brittany Verner is live near 95. Brittany, traffic is finally starting to move again. Traffic is finally moving normally right now. You can see behind me now it's just rush hour traffic that people have to worry about. But police say due to that accident earlier, one person was transported to the hospital with injuries. It was miserable. I'm not sure what, what happened. Butler Collins and his friends were inside of one of the many cars that were stuck on I-95 after an accident. Uh, we're leaving Florida. Just came from spring breaks. He says he and his friends were on their way back home to North Carolina after visiting Miami for a few days. Now their trip home is taking longer than they anticipated. Well, yeah, we got about um, seven more hours left in our trip. So it's, we're not excited about it. Dozens of cars were at a halt for hours after police say an RV and another small vehicle were involved in a crash. The cause of the crash is unknown, and one person was sent to the hospital with injuries, but thankfully no one was killed. Now the traffic is back flowing. Collins, along with dozens of others, are eager to finally get to their destination. We're tired, we're exhausted, we're ready to get home. There were other crashes around the same time this afternoon. Police say near I-295 in Bay Meadows, there was a five-car chain reaction crash. No one was seriously injured. And there was another crash in Baker County that was fatal. Reporting in Jacksonville, Brittany Verner, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.